Hey everyone, Danny Lynn here with Freedom Family Investments. In this video, we're going to be talking about two of the top three questions, which is where do I start and which path is right for me? I encourage you to stay on to the end because after I am done recording this video, we are going to share with you some stories from real people who have been working with this with us over the years, and they're going to be sharing their stories with you. Hey everyone, Danny Lynn here with Freedom Family Investments. In this video, we're going to answer two of the top three questions. So the three questions that we always get is where do I start? Which path is right for me? And who do I trust? Today in this video, we're going to cover where do I start and which path is right for me? So where do you start? The first question that you want to answer is do you want to be an active investor or a passive investor? There are two totally different things. And let me tell you from experience, a lot of the people who go into the active investor route suddenly realize they don't like it so much. They just gave themselves another job. <laughs> um, so they eventually go over here to the passive route. Deal with tenants and toilets. And that's the whole thing right there. That's right. No. <laughs> mm -mm. I'm going to give you a little piece of wisdom um, that you want to make this decision by designing your lifestyle first. What do you want to be doing? Um, do you want to be dealing with tenants and toilets? Uh, do you want to be with your kids? Do you want to be traveling? Do you um, want to have control over your properties? Um, uh, ask those questions. We actually have this uh, worksheet. Feel free to email us and ask us for the lifestyle design worksheet. It's got six boxes that we ask you to fill in the blanks of, uh, you know, just what you want your life to look like in, in six different segments. And after you go through this exercise, you should be able to answer the question of whether you want to be active or passive. And we do this because just too many people have made the mistake of not taking the time to answer the question. And again, they, they, they choose active and then realize after they spent thousands and thousands of dollars on courses or buying properties, um, maybe going into a partnership where it wasn't a good partnership or going into a deal where they didn't have the knowledge they needed in order to do a good job and actually make money, um, and they crash and burn, um, and they never ever get to the point where they could have simply just been a passive investor and save themselves all the time and the frustration and the lost money um, there's just a lot of risk. When you're an active investor, there is a lot of risk involved if you are not experienced. Um, so it's taking a long time for it, us to get to where we are. Flip and I started, um, in real estate in 2008. Um, in 2009, we had already decided, Hey, we want to be investors, not realtors. We just didn't like it. We hated it. Um, so we wanted to be an investor. And so we started learning at that point in time. In 2017, we were in Ohio and started building our very first company. It is now quarter four of 2023. We now have six slash eight companies. If you watch the other video that I recorded about who we are, um, uh, you're going to see all of our companies and the vision for us forward. We have now built a strong family of companies. Um, and that is the foundation that we needed to build and for us to mitigate risk in real estate. Um, so unless you want to go on the same journey that we have in order to mitigate all of the risk that there is in real estate, um, it's going to take you as long as we have. And we went pretty fast. Um, so I would find it better for you to fill out this lifestyle design sheet, um, really understand what is it that you want out of life because we only have one, right? And it's short. We want to make sure that we're living our very, very best life. And you want to be spending time with your family, your loved ones, your kids, if you have kids, um, and being present for them instead of chasing um, something that you might not want in the first place. So um, just make sure to do that exercise before you start. So um, all that said, most people are going to choose the passive route. They're going to align themselves with companies like ours um, who have built um, the strong foundation and the vertically integrated um, companies so that we have more control over everything that we do. Um, and uh, so that's the route that they're going to go that, so that they can live their best life and do the things that they want to be doing while they their income is making money for them while they're out having fun and being on the beach or traveling to Australia or whatever it is that you're doing. Um, that doesn't mean that you can't be an active investor. So um, what, no matter which one you ch choose, the next question is which path is right for me. And so I actually put some um, active investing. So if you could be a wholesaler, you could be a fix and flipper, um, you could uh, want to be a landlord, 
but you go out and find your own property so that you've got some equity in there. You're going to do the sweat equity thing. You're going to hire some contractors or do the work yourself and then rent it out so that you've got some equity and you're getting some cash flow. Those are all very, very active investing routes to go down. You can also go down the turnkey real estate uh, uh, route where you have a company like ours who is going to do all of the work for you. We find the property, we renovate the property, we place the resident in the property, we property manage it for you. You buy everything done for you. We have lots of other things in place that allow you to uh, be less stressed about a property because when you own a property, this does give you more control. This might be one of the things that you want is you realize you, you want control. You want your own property. Um, and so if you do, um, then we have things that are put in place to help ease the stress of still being a landlord because you are a landlord still. Um, you're going to have to manage the property management company. We can do a lot of things for you, um, but you need to read the financial statements. You need to approve certain um, expenses that come your way whenever there's a vacancy. Um, so there's things that I put this right in the middle of active versus passive for the turnkey real estate route. It's wonderful, wonderful way to go. Um, but uh, you are not fully passive on this to be full disclosure, which most people don't tell you that part. And so I want to do you the favor right up front um, for passive. Um, these are very, very passive. Like, honestly, probably four hours or less of your time is going to be in these. Once you invest your money, then you are hands off. Um, that is private money lending, master note investing, fund investing and syndication investing. I have recorded other videos that tell you about each of these. Um, here, the only ones I'm not telling you about is the wholesaling, flipping, and equity advantage because uh, we are not yet in the business of teaching and coaching active investors. We do it ourselves, um, and it's a lot to teach. <laughs> so, but we do educate on turnkey private money master notes, funds, and syndications because that's how we serve fellow investors um, who would like to be more passive than active. And so what are the things that you need to be thinking about? Um, and you're going to want to jump on a strategy session call. That is part of the where do I start and which path is right for me is you want to talk to our team, um, our investor relations team. Um, they work with turnkey real estate. They work with um, private money, master notes, funds, and syndications. If you tell them your goals, let them know how much available you have to invest. They're going to start digging in and understanding um, what you want. Do you want cash flow? Do you need, are you a high net worth person that, that, uh, that pays a lot of taxes every year and you need tax benefits? Do you want growth, which to us means you probably want to start compounding. You don't need those quarterly disbursements or whatever the um, disper disbursement schedule is. You would rather what disbursement that was going to go to you just be reinvested so that you can compound um, those funds. It's wonder of the world. It really adds up. There's a video I did about that in the, um, I think I did it in master notes and funds. I show you the power of compounding. So watch those videos. Um, do you want liquidity? Do you need to be able to invest and get it out fairly soon? Um, do you want control? Do you want diversification? Do you want wealth preservation? There's many other factors in these goals. We actually have a chart that we laid out that shows you um, every investment and where you can place a check mark for this investment has cash flow, it has tax benefits, but it doesn't have liquidity. Or this investment has liquidity, but it doesn't have control. Um, so we have a chart that allows you to really kind of understand who you are as an investor, what your risk tolerance is, what your goals are, and then which investment is going to be right for you. So a strategy session call is really the first step, but these are the things that you're going to be discussing. I would recommend that you really understand this question first and foremost, because again, we are not yet in the position to serve active investors. In the future, when we um, create our coaching and education company, we will start teaching people what we do. Um, but we are not there yet. We are still serving our passive investors. I hope all of this answered your questions. If you would like it to ask more questions that I haven't answered in this video, please feel free to go to chatwithfreedom.com, scroll down to talk to our investor relations team, and jump on one of their calendars, um, and they will be happy to answer any questions that you have. So if you are a passive investor, you're going to want to jump on a strategy session call and ask the team um, uh, any questions that you have. Let them know what your goals are. And there's no obligation. They will let you know what they think would be a good investment for you. Take your time. Make sure you're comfortable with, before investing. Um, we are always here for you. So use this as a resource. Um, thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Now it's time to get real. We're going to share with you some stories from real investors who are going to share their experiences with you so that these examples can come to life. The top three questions that I typically get are, where do I start? Which path is right for me? And who do I trust? 
So I want to ask you the same questions so that we can understand your journey and how you got to the point where you felt comfortable um, investing because there's a lot of fear when you're first starting. It's like we talk about uh, diving, um, jumping off a diving board for the very first time, right? Um, it's hard to climb up that ladder um, or even just get on a diving board, even if it's you know it's short, and then jump in the water for the first time. But once you do it, you're super, super excited to go run and do it again um, as kids. And I, we, we relate that story and example to um, the three, the top three questions. Um, and, and I love that your baby's in the background, though, by, by the way. <laughs> so don't worry about um, uh, him. I just love hearing him in the background. Um, so uh, for the people who have some fear, how did you how would you answer how do I start? And, and this really applies to do I want to be an active investor or a passive investor? I know I want to invest, but which road is right for me? We had no investment in experience um, when we started. Right. So um, we we really we were so excited when we had a thousand dollars to open our first savings account when we got married, you know, <laughs> so it, it, we started small, very small. Um, we had no experience and we both have full-time jobs. We knew that we were going to, um, um, have kids or, or I, I think I, we may have had one kid at that point. Um, we've got two now, but, uh, we may have had one at that point, I think. And, and we, we didn't want to be busy with more stuff. Right. I would rather let my money sit and not make money than be too busy for right. me because I don't know what's going on. Um, and I, and I have to be very involved if I need, if I was active. Right. So, um, passive investing was best for me. And so it was, um, obviously there was, there was turnkey rentals, there was a debt fund, um, there was uh, private money, uh, lending, and we chose to go with private money lending. So I had been watching for probably two years, I had been, I've really been um, in charge of this private money lending. You passed it off to me and I, I love it um, of coordinating all of these loans. And so I'm just watching people make money, not having to do much, right? Not having to really do anything except to wire the funds. <laughs> so I'm watching them make all this money and I'm thinking, we're not doing anything with our money. Our money's just sitting there. And I used to joke with you, I've got a thousand dollars for you. I've got a thousand dollars for you. And you're like, yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> And, you know, a couple of years in, I, I was like, no, I'm really serious. Let's get, we, you know, it wasn't a thousand dollars, but it was a small, it was a small amount, right? Smaller than our normal starting point of 50,000. Um, but I said, let's, let's get started. Let's just try something. Um, and obviously working here, it was, <laughs> I was able to kind of get around those rules, right? A little bit. Um, but I got, I, we got started and it was, it was scary. I will say it was a little scary, even, even knowing where this money is going, um, knowing the title company that it's going to, it was a little scary at first when you wire your money and you're like, here we go. Um, but I, yeah, I was involved in the whole process. I saw this property all the way through. I knew what was going on. And when there were delays, I was like, okay, we've got this though. We know what's going on. Um, in rehab or, or whatever it was. I, we can handle that. So it was, it was really cool to see that all the way through. And then once I got my money back, um, <laughs> it was funny cause we were, we had waiting, a waiting list. We had so many private lenders at that point. So we had a waiting list and I was like, I can't even give myself a deal because <laughs> I gotta wait for all these other people that I have to give a deal. And I'm not shooting myself to the top of the list. That's not fair. And that's not ethically okay to me. Right. <laughs> So I said, I'm going to go to a fund and I'm going to put my money in there and we're going to park it. And what was really cool was from the first loan to our fund investing experience, we were able to raise the amount that we invested just because of what we had gotten back from that first loan. Um, and, and obviously a little bit of time, right, had helped us, but we were able to raise what we invested um, up by like 50% 50, 50 more. Um, wow. Yeah, so we were really excited about that. Um, so now our funds are sitting, they're sitting in a fund and, you know, I don't know, I know what's going on with it, but I don't think about it. We get, yeah. that, we get that check, you know, it comes comes up to disbursement time and, and it's exciting. Here comes a check and we didn't do anything. I live in a military town, a lot of real estate opportunities here. If you want to be, uh, landlord, you know, but deal with tenants and toilets. And that's the whole thing right there. 
That's right. No. <laughs> um, so if I had known the passive route first, I probably would have gone that way first only because you can still learn, but you don't have to put in the effort that you do dealing with marketing and screening tenants and evicting people if they need be or trying to make sure the rents are paid or fix and flip or whatever. Um, I'm just, I'd rather do tax liens and passive investing. That's, <laughs> and you guys are, the, you guys offer the whole deal. So starting to invest with you guys, Tiffany and I have a phone call. I sign some papers. Uh, the money is transferred. And then when the deal sells or when it goes to closing, I get my money back with a nice little return on that investment. And I've spent maybe 45 minutes of my time over the whole time the money is with you guys because I trust you. But I know too, Tiffany has been wonderful in that. If there's a delay or anything, it's like every month she's right on you know, right on. She keeps me informed as she does. I'm sure all the other investors, Yes. but there's never any question. And yeah. there's a level of comfort for that, especially in the volatility of the market like it is right now. <laughs>